Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to boost your FPS on your Windows 11 computer for various games. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So there's going to be a few different things we're going to do in today's tutorial, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing we're going to start with is opening up the Start menu. Type in D XDIAG. Best match should come back with exactly that. Go ahead and open that up to open it. And then select yes. Select the display tab. You want to note the manufacturer of your display card in here. So now you go ahead and actually go on to the manufacturer's website and search for automated tools. So just take note of the manufacturer name as well as the name of the driver. You see the version information here as well. Go on to Google. So it could be Intel, AMD, NVIDIA, for example, could be quite a few different options here. And go online and download the drivers directly from their website. And then hopefully I would be able to take care of that for you guys. And it would improve your performance a bit. Something else you can try here too would be to open up the Star Menu Search. Type in adjust, best match or come back with adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Go ahead and open that up. Select where it says adjust for best performance and then select apply and OK. Now you also want to go ahead and open up the start menu. Type in game mode. Best match or come back with game mode settings. Go ahead and open that up. Make sure game mode first is turned on. And then underneath related settings, select graphics. Now, if you have specific games you want to enhance the performance of, click on the game from this list and then select Options. Select High Performance, and then you would select Save. And if you run into a problem, you can always change it back to default by just going through Options and then select Let Windows Decide. So again, pretty straightforward process there, guys. Those are definitely some big things you can take a look at um, beyond just overclocking your CPU, which I don't personally really rec recommend for most of you guys. I know some people may feel differently about that, but something to keep in mind. You can also try turning off background programs to start when your computer boots up. So if you were to right click on the start button and select where it says task manager, select the startup tab, disable unnecessary startup applications in here. And unless it's an antivirus, you can generally just disable it. So I'd recommend trying to do that. And then you can also go underneath apps and features. So if you search for apps and features, best match, come back with apps and features here. Go ahead and open that up. And you select apps and features from this list. You can go ahead and actually uninstall programs you're no longer using on your computer as a way to free up hard drive space as well as reducing the chance of different updaters perhaps running in the background while you're running your games. So definitely something to take a look at. And one further thing you can also try here would be to open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best result, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now you want to go type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. Another thing you can try here as well would be to right click on the start button and select where it says File Explorer. Go ahead and select on the left side where it says this PC and then right click on your local disk or wherever your games may be installed and select where it says Properties. Select the Tools tab and then under Error Checking this option will check the drive for file system errors. Go ahead and select Check. Select Scan Drive. And once it's done, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer again. And hopefully that was able to resolve your problem. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.